it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you a tea haul. I have been drinking a lot of tea this last year. I really, really enjoy it, and so I thought I would stock up from Twinings on some of the different teas that they sell on their website, as well as get a couple boxes of my favorite tea. The Twinings Irish Breakfast Tea is my favorite one that I enjoy nearly every day. So again, I placed a big order with Twinings at the end of the year last year, and I thought I would share that with you. Also, I got a couple of other items here as well. So we'll start with this here. This is a little tea box here that I found at Amazon and I'll go ahead and link that below. You can see it's got little spots in here for holding different tea bags. I thought that that would be a nice way to organize some of my new teas so that I can see what ones I have and choose what I want or offer that to guests when they come over for tea. Then I also picked up a new mug that I really love. Be still and know. It's part of a Bible verse that I really love. And I just thought that that would be a really nice mug to have. It's nice and stout and sturdy. It's not too big, but also not too small. Just right for a mug of tea. So that's my new pretty mug that I really love. And then I had to replace my teapot. Um, the teapot that I've been using for many years is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, they don't make it anymore. It is the Revere Wear Copper Bottomed Pot. Um, that is a whistling tea kettle that again I've had for years, probably had two over um, probably the last 30 years or so and they last a really long time. Unfortunately my dog jumped up to get a treat on the oven. She thought she would uh, help herself to some of my baked goods and in the process knocked my teapot down. It got a big dent in it and unfortunately like I said they don't sell the Revere Wear copper bottom pot anymore. I hope they bring those back at some point. They are wonderful. Um, so I thought I would invest in this one that I found on Amazon. It wasn't too expensive and I liked the look of it. It is also a whistling tea kettle. And the nice thing is that the top comes off. The Revere Wear Copper Bottom Pot, you couldn't get into it. You could only clean it out through the spout. And I thought that that would be a nice way to keep the teapot cleaned. Again, I thought that this was just a pretty teapot, or a tea kettle, I should say. Um, so yeah, so I'll be trying that out. I thought that that was nice to stock up with while I was kind of just uh, stocking up on some of my different tea, uh, tea items here. So this pot has a little trigger here that you pull, and it holds it open, which I thought was really nice. And then you release it with that top button there, just kind of toggles back and forth. I really liked that. I thought that was a neat design. So yeah, very pretty, and I will link this one below too. I also found all three of these items on Amazon, so I will go ahead and link those if they're still available. And now let's go ahead and get into this box from Twinings here. So I really liked how nicely they packed it all. Now let's see what I got here. They sent along a couple of samples here, so lemon and ginger herbal tea and a jasmine green tea. And a little note card here. Ooh. and some ultra spice chai to try out as well. So those will be really fun to give a try. And then here are the varieties I ordered. I really like black tea. Green tea tends to bother me a little bit, so I don't often buy green tea. So I thought I would try all of their different black teas that sounded good. So got some of this, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think it's Ceylon or Ceylon Orange Pico tea. This is 100% black tea. And here are some of the notes on it. It says it's bright, crisp, and refreshing. It has its origins in Sri Lanka. So I thought that was neat. So again, I got a couple boxes of that. And then I got this tea here, the pure black tea that is called Prince of Wales. And it's not as strong as the other. It says it is uh, from different provinces in China. So that, we'll give that one a try. It says it's velvety smooth taste, so that sounded really nice to me. So I'm excited to try this one out. I got this item here. I got a couple of them. They're little holders for the tea bag so that I don't set it on one of my uh, end tables in the living room when I'm drinking my tea. I'll have a nice place to put this here. And it says twinings on it. I thought that that looked really nice. Thought it would be handy. And here it is out of the package. You can see this really pretty design on the end there. I just thought that that was really pretty. So again, I found these at that website as well, the Twinings website. And then before we get into the rest of the teas, 
go ahead and look at a couple of loose teas. Mostly I don't prefer loose teas. I mostly just prefer uh, teas in tea bags. I do have a way to brew the tea, uh, loose tea as well. So I thought I'd have that as well just just because I thought it would be fun. So I got two tins of the loose Irish breakfast tea. I thought the tins were really pretty too. So two of those. And of course, if you follow my grocery hauls, you'll know that the Irish breakfast tea tea bags are my all-time favorite. So I think I'll really like this loose tea as well. And then I got a box of English breakfast tea. A lot of people really love English breakfast tea, so I thought it would be a good idea to have that one on hand also. That one is a little bit stronger than the Irish uh, breakfast tea. I got a second box of the Prince of Wales tea. I figured I would order a couple boxes of the ones that I thought that I would really enjoy of these different black teas here, just so I wouldn't have to order twice. I'd have them on hand. Then I got one box of English breakfast tea. I only got one box of this because I already have uh, English breakfast tea here as well. So I only needed one box of that. And then I got this one here, also a... Um, black tea. This is called English Afternoon. It's moderately strength uh, there with the three tea leaves of strength. It says it's smooth, refreshing, and slightly sweet from uh, provinces in China and Sri Lanka. So it says it's a light and refreshing tea. I'm eager to try that one out. Again, I got two of those. And then this one, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. Let's see. Uh, Lapsang Sushong. Um, is my best guess for that. This is a stronger black tea here from the Fujian province in China. It's smoky, pungent, and woody. So it says, dare to try one of the world's oldest and most distinctive black teas. That was intriguing to me. Um, I'm excited for that. I'll have to have this more during the day and not at night since it looks like a little bit stronger of a tea, but I'm really excited to try this one out as well. I got two boxes of that. And then this one here is also a black tea. This is Darjeeling, and it is um, from Darjeeling, India, in the foothills of the Himalayas. It's light, thin-bodied, and woody, and it is only two out of four tea leaves in strength. It says, experience the magic of one of the world's most celebrated teas. So I'm also excited to try out Twining's Darjeeling tea. So I got two of those as well. And then lastly, of course, I had to order a couple of big boxes. These are the 50 pack boxes of my Irish breakfast tea. I go through quite a bit of this tea, so I will, this is definitely not a year's worth. This is just probably three months worth of my Irish breakfast tea, um, but it was nice to have it in the bigger boxes. A lot of the stores around here um, only sell the smaller boxes of this, and it's nice when I can find the bigger boxes of this black tea. So stocked up on my favorite, my Twinings Irish breakfast tea as well. So that is my tea haul here. You can see again all the different varieties that I've tried out as well as my new teapot and cup. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill up my little tea caddy here, um, the little tea um, box, and show you what that looks like when it's all filled up with this variety here of black teas. So here's my little tea box with all of the teas that I'm um, trying out right now. Of course, my favorite, the Irish breakfast tea. Then we have English breakfast, English afternoon. Then we've got our orange pico tea, our Prince of Wales tea, the Darjeeling tea, and the Lapsang Sushong tea. The box smells really lovely. This has a really interesting smell. I'm not sure what I'm gonna think of it, but I'm really eager to try it out. And then I also put the little samplers here too just in case I'd like to try those as well. I think this box is a really pretty way to store tea and a nice way to set this out so that company can choose what tea they would like to try. I'll probably also pick up a decaf variety and maybe another variety for these little um, spots here, just so my guests can try other teas if they want or if they need decaf. This is what it looks like closed. I think again, it's very pretty. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my tea haul here from Twinings, as well as some of the fun things that I got for tea time, a new tea kettle and a new mug here and my little tea box here to store all of my teas. I will have to let you know in upcoming videos what I think of all these different varieties of tea. Um, I'll have to try them all out and get back to you and let you know what I think. I would love to hear what your favorite tea is in the comments below. If you have one that I should try, I would love to give that a try as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.